Hey guys, what's going on? Caleb here, and today I'll be doing a video on my MRU Week uh, unboxing. So this order I just got in the mail today. I'm super excited about it. It cost me maybe $150, so a little bit pricey, but I personally think it's worth it because I've been buying stuff like this for a few years. And for the amount of printing and detail on this stuff, it's really, really good. So let's just take the stuff out. I already cut the bag so it could be easier for me to get my uh, to get my figures. Um, so here it all is. Um, so let's just take out the first bag. In here, you see that we have uh, four of the German, uh, the World War One Germans that they have. No inside leg printing, unfor uh, printing unfortunately. But um, honestly, I don't think I've seen any other company do that yet. Maybe Lego when they actually overmold uh, legs, which I think that's just a little expensive uh, to do. But anyway, here it all is. We have two American riflemen, uh, World War One, on the right. So that was also in it. Here's just uh, a figure I ordered mainly for the face. Um, it's kind of like a little bit Middle Eastern, I guess you could say, for the skin tone. So I could possibly use that for some Ottoman soldiers for some World War One Battlefield One scenes, which would be pretty fun. Next bag is a well, next figure is a World War II German. He has a oak leaf uh, camo uh, smock with car 98 pouches and a nice like winter netted helmet and some printed uh, gator legs. So I'm getting a lot of high quality legs with this and normally I paint my legs so I might just have the painted legs in the background of my scenes and the more detailed and nice looking ones like the print these printed ones will be in the front. So anyway, this is the uh, my first um, German World War II German of this unboxing. Next is, uh, he has the same exact uh, camo for his torso, just has MP40 pouches and a gunmetal but still netted helmet with winter gaiters. It has like some snow on the bottom which has some really nice detail and he has a nice face. Uh, most of these MRU Week figures, uh, they have, like, really, uh, different faces from other ones that you probably would have seen in the past. Um, the next one is definitely a different face. It's a little bit, uh, I guess just more graphic face. Um, I like it, though. It looks really nice. Well, he looks like his eyes got shot out or something. I don't completely know. Um, I don't even know why I said that it was too graphic. It's actually kind of fine. He has a bullet, though, going through the going through his face, um, and there's some bullet holes going through his torso, as you see right here, um, it looks extremely nice, I absolutely love this print, uh, I hopefully will be using this in my Carrington scene, uh, since I have so many Germans, um, I, I might not, I don't know, I have, as of this moment, um, I have about maybe 20 Germans, and that's, like, huge compared to my like, entire allied armies. It's just, like, the Germans always had a different camo for a different, uh, region of war or whatnot. Um, so, yeah, this is basically the, uh, entire order. Uh, a lot of it's German, but I did get two of those World War One Americans, which will be going into my Battlefield One kind of customization. And, um, of course, the Germans for the other World War One stuff. Actually, no, just a little fun thing to note about these is... They have printing on the uh, arms, kind of like cuffs. So that is not on the figures I actually bought and like sold and stuff. They were those zones are actually kind of specially pre-made uh, by Garrett over at MRU uh, because uh, I ju I just kind of asked for them earlier than anybody else did. So I got a little bit of a discount, I'd say, and all that stuff. So it, they look really nice. Let's just say that Minifigs R Us is probably the best. Uh, Lego military printing place I've ever seen. It used to be Citizen Brick, but no, these guys are really, really good. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, guys, and goodbye.